Hello, my name is Simon and I'm a gallery assistant and I'm going to talk about Beau Bardi and this exhibition, The Place We Imagine. Beau Bardi's Italian period saw her study architecture at the University of Rome before moving to Milan in 1939. The birth of Italy is both complex and recent. The compromises and conflicts regarding Italian unification was led in the mid-1850s by Ragamuffin Garibaldi, the hero of two worlds, Italy and Brazil. The milieu of the 20th century Italian history frames Bobardi's practice. The 1915 Treaty of London rekindled the taper to fuel the flames of Italian nationalism and consequently the rise of fascist dictator Benito Mussolini in 1919. Bobardi was a member of the Communist Party, yet under the encompassing fascists, Bobardi consented to creating both stage set designs and war posters. During World War II, the Milan offices of the Bobardis was destroyed, and in 1946, Bobardi rejected the dual nationality, relinquished her Italian citizenship, and moved permanently to Brazil. As an illustrator, designer, and editor, Bobardi designed the covers of A, A Culture of Loving, which dealt with the theory of architecture and civil responsibility. The magazine roused the readers to work together for the reconstruction of the wounds of war, why do we have to live so badly? We have to start from the beginning, from the letter A, to organize a happy life for all. Within a space, it is we who use the space and are thus able to change its dynamics by living, working, and playing within a space. Bobardi herself saw architecture as an enabler of society. Architecture brings nature, living, and community together, a social art. As in interwar Italy, there was also a political undercurrent to their new aesthetic practice, inflected by the demise of Italian fascism, and she advocated that Brazil should not belong to Western culture. In 1962, Bobardi drew a fantastical playground. The colourful drawing imagines a series of vast sculptures in front of the Museum of Art that she had recently designed for Sao Paulo. The museum was viewed as an ideal place to cultivate agreeable new models of interclass sociability and incorporating the Afro-Brazilian vernacular within the context of modernizing Brazil. The envisioned playworks loom over the museum as though imagined by children rather than by an architect. This was important for Bobardi. The young will be the protagonists in the life of the museum through design, music and theater. This utopian play space was never realized. In this exhibition, Assemble have collaborated with Nottingham Contemporary to reimagine and to physically build the structures. Bobardi's drawings exemplify an assured tension, the impact of traditions and heritage of popular culture. I never wanted to be young. I wanted to have a history. Alternative education encompasses and investigates the nature of learning. It is perhaps the philosophy and the practice of education, be it essentialism, social reconstructivism, democratic education, progressivism, and unschooling, for example. Educational pioneers such as Maria Montessori and Rudolf Steiner may have viewed education as something that could cultivate and develop a child on many levels, not only intellectually, but also morally, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, and physically. Maria Montessori is primarily known for her revolutionary model of education and learning. Her ideas about education stem from the principles of choice, individual dignity, spontaneous order, experimental discovery, and the freedom of movement. They stand in radical contrast to the traditional schooling, too often based on authority, central planning, rigid infrastructure, and force. She once described children in such school as butterflies stuck with pins fixed in their places. Play is children's work for children to have the quality of play experiences that are perhaps unknowingly created and nurtured when adults are involved in the process. A critique by John Dury of the Montessori method suggesting that training the play contained little scope for imagination, social interaction and play. Drury was an education reformer and principally a profound belief in democracy 
and this was precipitated by the rise of Adolf Hitler and the closure of the Bauhaus School in Germany. So Dury established the Black Mountain College in North Carolina, an experimental faculty focused on interdisciplinary study. Paul Goodman, the co-author of the gas cell therapy, would examine the autonomy of personal experience within self-development to act creatively and to react to one's human nature. A determining factor is the degree in which he or she is implicated and engaged with the vital reality of the contemporary world, public engagement and participation. While possessing an awareness of personal responsibility and self-regulation within adjusting to an overall situation. The less top-down approaches to educational models within the context of Assemble and the place we imagine could be indebted to the legacies of social practice and community participation and social critique within the arts since the 1960s of groups like the Artist Placement Group, whose active associates included John Latham, Joseph Boyce, Ian Breakwell, Yoko Ono, The Fluxus Group and co-founder Barbara Stevens discourse the principles of relational strategies within the social mobile context. Several days ago, while I stood in Gallery 3, I began to contemplate Poe, Poe logic, think about architectural solutions for new schools. I contemplated as what would be the most efficient ways for children and adults to move between different floor levels. I thought about airline evacuation procedures and options for children to ascend and descend a level by something different than the staircase. The Office for National Statistics reports that there is a fall on a staircase every 90 seconds in the UK, and an estimated 250,000 non-fatal accidents, which are serious enough to merit a trip to A&E. And 58,000 children have accidents on the stairs every year. I see Tatling's Tower, a constructivist symbol of modernity, an aspiration of revolution, a ziggurat, a Babel Tower. I seek to climb, yet as I ascend, I also anticipate the fall. I contemplate further. I am within the hollow of a tree. Above me, a large green apple. I want to knock it free.